Good morning. Uh, we are in Lostovo today. It's time for me to finish some engine stuff which I started a while ago. First up is to change this guy. There's a water pump. Um, so there's that. And then um, the exhaust elbow. I'm going to change these today as well. It's one, two. Well up there's around a thousand dollars of parts right there. Step one uh, for changing the water pump is to turn off the saltwater seacock, which is just here. I can't see it on camera, but it's this thing here. This takes seawater from the uh, from the water through this pipe, and then from this pipe all the way into the water pump, which is just here. So that's the part we're changing today. So. I need to disconnect the hoses, but first of all, I need to make sure that when I pull the hose out, I don't flood the engine bay with water. So let's do step one. Okay, we've got the first hose off. Uh, it looks good. I'll just bring the camera down here. Um, so uh, there's a little bit of um, scaling inside the hose, but otherwise the hose looks good and uh, it doesn't need to be replaced. Undoing the second hose was a lot more difficult um, and I'm not sure if I can get it in the shot there but there we go. Unfortunately this hose is on the downside of where the leak is so it was quite uh, encrusted with salt and uh, I had to ply it off with a, a screwdriver so we'll check that hose in a bit just to make sure that um, it's not damaged. I have a spare hose on board if we need to replace it. $68 that hose costs, but anyway. Um, so there's the water pump there. Um, you can see it's, uh, it's this guy. The camera will focus. This thing here. Yep, there we go. Um, and you can see, see the staining down here. That's obviously where the water has been leaking from. So there is a sliding screw just where my finger is. So we'll undo that one first, um, which should take tension off the belt. And then there's another one up the top here, which um, is where it attaches to. So fingers crossed. So I got it off. Um, only a cracked knuckle, a little bit of blood. But here we have old and new. And you can see on the leading edge here, it's very rusted and corroded down there and I suspect what was causing the problem was a, uh, a loose bearing or a spring not quite sure but anyway um, I will pull this plate off in a minute so you can see what the impeller looks like uh, I changed the impellers a while back so we'll take the impeller out of there because it's literally a brand new impeller um, and you can oh, there's water in there still so the belt comes in here, basically drives the impeller, which gives the engine water so it doesn't overheat. After a lot of swearing, there it is, back on. Water pump change successfully. So everything's working, uh, there's no leaks, which is good. There's a small wobble on the belt wheel, but um, my guess is that that will straighten over time, but something to check uh, with the Yanmar dealer and also um, just to keep an eye on. But now it's time to do the exhaust elbow. So this is the exhaust elbow. I guess it's just a matter of undoing screw, 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 bolt, 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 and um, let's see what comes off. Small amount of corrosion on the exhaust elbow there. Interesting to see what happens when we have a look inside. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's quite a lot of crap in here. Um, old bits of gasket and stuff, so we'll have to clean that up. Came off pretty good. And we have it all back together. Exhaust elbow number one, done. So quite a successful morning uh, of boat love. It used to be called boat chores, but a good mate said that's the wrong word, so it's now called boat love. So we managed to uh, change both of the exhaust elbows, which you can see just here, and also the seawater pump. 
So the exhaust elbows, they look pretty uh, um, black and and gross, but I guess that's what it's it's meant to do. Um, so we'll keep these as a spare. They don't look like they're cracked. Um, so we'll keep them on board. The gaskets, on the other hand, are shot. Um, I might be able to keep that one. Um, and then over to the water pump. So uh, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but you can certainly see the blue here, which is the corrosive bit. And if you look down inside here, the camera will focus. Come on, focus. Uh, I think that's where the leak was originating from. So, uh, one issue that I found when I put the, the water pump back on is this, this pulley here seemed to have a bit of a wobble in it. So, I'll email the Yanmar people to see if that's a concern. If it is, we can just pull this off uh, and swap the, swap the flywheel over with. So the last thing we'll do now is I'll pull the, uh, the, the face plate off here and we'll pull the, uh, the impeller out. So we'll keep that as a spare part for later. Come on. 